Morning friends, another windy prairie day here. Let's take a look, see at this machine. Just uh, finishing cleaning up all the junk here and uh, we're gonna load all this and haul it home. I don't know if I'm gonna do that today, but uh, I wanted to run this here power saw. This boat trip there. <laughs> Sorry, friends, there we go. Johnson Red twenty ninety five. I don't know what year that would be, uh, two thousand and three, maybe. I don't think these were out in 93, that would be a 2094, I believe. I'm not sure though. Uh, 95 CC Johnson Red. My buddy lent this to the channel and uh, said play with it a little bit, so. Show you guys what's under the hood. This has a different kind of air box big old tilly under the hood this is a nice low mile power saw uh, he actually bought this locally sorry guys he actually bought this locally fell up north had it uh, doesn't look like it has a lot of miles on it sorry I'm fumbling with this not my saw <laughs> Fell up north had it, not a lot of miles on it, and uh, it's in it's in almost pristine shape. A little few dings on there, but it's a tool. That's what it's for, right? It's sporting a 30-inch Oregon 3/8 full comp. We're gonna touch this chain up a bit. Actually, no, that chain's good. Uh, I might give her a swipe. Let's set up here and get this thing sharpened. Uh, I need to stump that. That's. Uh, I don't know, three feet at the butt. There's a nail. I don't know if you guys can see it there. There's a nail right there. We got to get around that. Okay. Now, for those of you that have never run one of these power saws, um, <laughs> these things are a lot of fun. They're, uh, they're super, super powerful. Um, nothing pulls chain like a big bore saw, but they are heavy. So um, we don't have a ton of big timber out this way. So um, my big saw, my 2095 gets very, or sorry, 394 gets very, very limited use. Um, I pull it out once in a while and play with it. I'm gonna cut with it soon. But uh, it's just nice to have these. You're stumping something big. Um, like that log behind me. It's nice, it's nice to have a big saw to do it with. Just touching this up. It's, uh, it's not terrible. The, the working edge is uh, a little blunt on it. She's sharp though, but... Again, I, I don't use any guides or any of that stuff. Uh, I filed the bucking way. I don't want to carry any of that stuff with me. Oh, here's where they joined it. You learn how to file like this, uh, you'll never go back. At least I haven't. Uh, I've tried all the gadgets and gizmos. Uh, nothing replaces just knowing how to file, I find. And again, this chain fits this file perfectly and uh, it files easy. Yeah, I can't wait to try this thing out, guys. This thing's, uh, this is a nice saw. A couple that are a little blunt. Funny thing is about these big saws and those of you that run these and own them know, these things will pull a dull chain. Um, 
just monsters. 95 cc's. I think this thing's eight horsepower. Just, just a monster. I'm not sure what kind of chain this is. I think it's a, I think it's an Oregon LGX double raker. Not the fastest, not the fastest cutting chain, but it'll do good for our purposes. I'm probably gonna block up some of this wood with this today too. It's too heavy to lift and uh, I don't feel like wrecking my back. This time of the year, any wood that's laying on the ground sucks up the ground moisture and uh, it gets, uh, it gets pretty, pretty uh, wet. There we go, okay. Okay, let's fire this thing up. I got my tuning screwdriver. When I sharpen, I'll lay it on top of the wood. Watch this thing pull it through. If it pulls itself through at half speed quickly, you know you got a sharp chain.
nothing beats a big saw for doing work like that guys uh, not something I use all the time but uh, this is a big heavy stump and uh, that thing just motored through it had to clear some chips there but I thought we were pinched but no <laughs> You know, I think we could do one more cut on this stump here. Ugh. Let's do one more cut on this stump. You guys go Johnson at 2095 just a classic uh, old school big bore power saw these things if you ever have a chance to run one of these uh, try it out these things pull chain like it's going out of style even this one um, you know there's nothing done to this it's bone stock and uh, if it wasn't for the chip clogging and that in there we uh, it wouldn't have stopped but I mean you can literally just dog it in and pull and it'll just do everything you need it to do. Uh, this thing will pull a four foot bar, no problem. And uh, cool saw. Uh, everybody, can you guys please thank my buddy in the, uh, in the comments. He's a good fella. He lent this to the channel to uh, just for me to run and show you guys. And uh, I'm really thankful for that. It's cooled off so many people helping out and uh, this is a tin man size saw uh, I don't look so big when I'm swinging one of these around again guys uh, these saws these saws they're not something you need all the time but when you need a big saw let me tell you one of these uh, it brings big power and big torque to the game every time and uh, that's why I have my 394 which is the same saw as this basically uh, that 394, when I got to stump something like that, uh, you know, put a long bar on it and go, and it'll, it brings power to the table every time. Anyhow, thanks for coming along on another cutting adventure. Uh, thanks for being here, guys. I appreciate all you. Take her easy. Later, guys. <laughs>